In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. For 30 years, we've had an anti-government uh, sentiment uh, around Washington. Taxes on the rich have remained low. The deregulation of Wall Street has led to financial crashes uh, during this period. Inequality of wealth and income has reached unprecedented dimensions uh, in America. I think uh, Reagan made the wrong diagnosis. We need government, effective government, to help America to be competitive in a, a very competitive global economy. When uh, President Reagan came into office, the top 1% of households uh, took in about 10% of total household income. That was pretty good for them. Uh, but by uh, 2008, just on the eve of the financial crisis, the top 1% were taking in not 10% as when Reagan started, but 23% of national income. In other words, we had our wealth and income accumulating at the very top of the income distribution. Now, for the man in the middle, uh, the peak earnings go all the way back to 1973 for 38 years. Uh, we've not been able to reach the level that was reached in 1973 for the median male earnings. And for the households uh, unlucky to be at the bottom of the income curve, of course, poverty has been rising and incomes of the poorest households aren't even uh, holding their own. They've been falling, and they've been falling sharply in recent years. One of two Americans is now in a low-income household. Uh, that means uh, at the poverty line or uh, double the poverty line and below. This is a shocking uh, new reality for a country which long prided itself on being the great middle-class society. That policy has been, has been continued through every uh, presidential administration, Republican and uh, Democratic. After all, was the Clinton administration that deregulated further the, the Wall Street uh, rules of the game, that took away Glass-Steagall, uh, that became the prelude for the 2008 financial crash. Of course, uh, George W. Bush Jr. Uh, followed on with further tax cuts. Uh, and President Obama came in on a message of change, but I think most Americans feel that it's been mainly continuity, not change.